Also tonight, 10 on your side has learned a taser used in a deadly officer involved shooting in Portsmouth has been sent away for analysis. Officer Stephen Rankin used it outside the Walmart on Frederick Boulevard where he shot and killed shoplifting suspect William Chapman II in April. We first reported last night 15 very important seconds of the video from that taser is missing. Ten your side sources confirmed that to Andy Fox, who also broke the story that prosecutors will ask for a gag order to keep all attorneys quiet outside of the courtroom. This is a story you'll see only on 10. Andy? Yeah, Nicole, behind me is the Portsmouth Judicial Center. Tomorrow we are in court for motions, issues that you just brought up. They are the preliminary things for a trial that is supposed to begin in February, and I can tell you tonight we're off to a rough start. This Frederick Boulevard Walmart parking lot is where William Chapman spent his last moments alive. It's like a gravesite to us because we will never forget this. Our goal is, is to make this street William Chapman Street because he died here for nothing. We now know former police officer Stephen Rankin's taser was shooting video and audio before the shooting and after the shooting, but not during the shooting. Those critical 15 seconds are blank. I think they were tampered with it. I think the Portsmouth police, right, tampered with the video. Well, understand this right here. When they first got on the scene, Portsmouth police was here first. Rankin's attorneys discovered the 15-second gap in Roe Commonwealth's attorney Stephanie Morales, who insisted the tape was not edited or manipulated in any way by the Commonwealth. The Taser Company informed Virginia State Police, who was conducting the investigation, the Taser was corrupt before the point of download. What is corrupt? That means something is wrong. Corrupt means that somebody has sabotaged something. Something make us feel very uncomfortable that happened. James Broccoletti wrote Morales he had been advised. Portsmouth Police Department downloaded the information and video footage of the taser prior to it being sent to the central lab. That would suggest Portsmouth Police may have been altering the original video or at least dubbing it. Morales wrote back, my inquiry of the Portsmouth Police Department has yielded the same results, that no downloads were created by Portsmouth Police. The Chapman family convinced, though, tampering the video took place. You know, you may be wrong. Maybe there is some explanation. Yes, sir. Well, where is it? I mean, show us. All we want is the truth. All they want is the truth. There is huge mistrust in this case, hard feelings, issues of race. What we know tonight is, is that this is not going to go away quietly. And what happened with this 15 second gap in the tape certainly doesn't help with mending any type of these feelings in this community. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.